Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation from Big D Soul. Today we will be presenting Hadoop 2. We have other videos on YouTube from Big D Soul explaining Hadoop 1, MapReduce, HDFS and Big Data concepts in detail. If you haven't seen them, then we encourage you to view them, this will help in understanding the Hadoop 2 better. Today we will be explaining Limitation of Hadoop 1 Current data processing needs Key features of Hadoop 2 Yarn architecture and key concept Ecosystem of Hadoop 2 New entrant to Hadoop 2 Limitation of Yarn Weave Hadoop 1 was designed to keep big data bulk processing in mind and MapReduce was the only option it supported. As you can see there is name node having metadata information, and job tracker to ensuring task tracker are processing the data. And data node which actually contain the data. Let us have a look at MapReduce daemons, as you can see job tracker keep track of task trackers, schedule job, and monitor map and reduce job execution. Task Tracker runs the map and reduce task and reports back to job tracker. Here bottleneck for scalability is evident, the single task tracker managing up to 4000 tasks. This is another view of map reduce demons, job tracker has queue of jobs, and queue of tasks. And we have slave nodes. Let us look at the Hadoop 1 limitation, so that we can appreciate the needs for Hadoop 2 and yarn architecture, and could connect the dots. The first limitation is scalability, can support maximum 4000 nodes, and 40,000 concurrent tasks. Course synchronization in task tracker. Second is name node is single point of failure. Failure kills all queued and running jobs. Jobs need to be resubmitted by users. Third is restart ability, implementing is tricky. Next limitation is low resource utilization, as resources are assigned to map and reduce tasks. There is obvious limitation of not supporting any other paradigm except map reduce. Due to varied needs, applications which needs iterative processing like graph data points processing, tends to be 10 times slower. And lastly lack of wire compatible protocols, client and cluster must be on same version, application and workflow can't migrate to different cluster. Now look at the current data processing needs. Availability. Reliability. Utilization. Wire compatibility. Agility and evolution ability for customers to control the upgrades to the grid software stack. Scalability, clusters of 6000 to 10,000 machines, each machine with 16 cores, 48 GB to 96 GB RAM, with 24 TB to 36 TB disks. As hardware cost is reducing, and capabilities are improving. This configuration is almost double the configuration when Hadoop 1 was designed. 100,000 plus concurrent tasks. 10,000 concurrent jobs. To overcome from the Hadoop, one limitations and meet today's data processing requirement, Hadoop 2 has come. It has been built keeping few learnings from past, here are the key design concept. Split up the two major functions of job tracker. Cluster resource management. Application lifecycle management. MapReduce becomes user library, or one of the application residing in Hadoop. Here are the key concepts which we need to know before exploring the architecture diagram. Very first one is application, which is a job submitted to the framework, example map reduce job, it could be a shell script. Container basic unit of hardware allocation, example a container having 2 GB RAM, and 1 CPU, container does the fine-grained resource allocation, replaces the fixed map and reduce slots. Another important component to know is resource manager. It acts as global resource scheduler and managing the hierarchical queues. Next one is a node manager. It acts as per machine agent. 
Manages the life cycle of container. Container resource monitoring. Last one is application master. It is at per application level. Manages application scheduling and task execution, e.g. MapReduce application master. Now we know the key terms, let us look the high level architecture, as you can see more number of applications than just the MapReduce. A key component of Hadoop 2 is Yarn. The underlying file system continues to be HDFS. So what is Yarn? It's yet another resource negotiator. Is not only MapReduce 2.0, but also Framework to develop and slash or execute distributed processing applications. Example, MapReduce, Spark, Apache Hama, Apache Jirov. Here are the key components of Yarn. Resource Manager. Application Master. Scale up to 10,000 nodes. Open, support multiple framework like MapReduce, Graph Processing. Let us look at the one scenario to understand the architecture better. Say we have two client requests, one wants to run a MapReduce job, while another one is a request to execute a shell script. The MapReduce job is represented in blue color, while the shell script is represented in green color. The resource manager has two main components, scheduler and applications manager. The scheduler is responsible for allocating resources to the various running applications subject to familiar constraints of capacities, queues etc. The scheduler is pure scheduler in the sense that it performs no monitoring or tracking of status for the application. Also, it offers no guarantees about restarting failed tasks either due to application failure or hardware failures. The scheduler performs its scheduling function based the resource requirements of the applications, it does so based on the abstract notion of a resource container which incorporates elements such as memory, CPU, disk, network etc. In the first version, only memory is supported. The applications manager is responsible for accepting job submissions, negotiating the first container for executing the application specific application master and provides the service for restarting the application master container on failure. The node manager is the per machine framework agent who is responsible for containers, monitoring their resource usage, CPU, memory, disk, network, and reporting the same to the resource manager slash scheduler. The per application application master has the responsibility of negotiating appropriate resource containers from the scheduler, tracking their status and monitoring for progress. MRV2 maintains API compatibility with previous stable release, Hadoop 0.20.205. This means that all MapReduce jobs should still run unchanged on top of MRV2 with just a recompile. As you may observe in the architecture diagram, green color request will be handled by its own application master, while blue color will be having its own application master, and application master will handle containers. Another view of Yarn architecture where resource manager is handling job queue and job scheduling, it is allocating resources against the available resource list. And the slave node is having app manager handling task queue and job lifecycle logic. Let us compare the Hadoop 1 ecosystem and Hadoop 2 ecosystem. In Hadoop 1 we have HDFS and MapReduce. In the Hadoop 2, Yarn comes on top of HDFS and manages all requests, including the request made from MapReduce. Enough about Yarn, I hope it's clear to you. Let us look at some of the other ecosystem components taking share to make Hadoop 2 a viable and fast adopting product. As in the picture you can see Yarn is middle layer between applications and HDFS storage. Some of our old applications like HBase and MapReduce, while few are relatively new entrant like Tez and Jirov. First is MapReduce, core components since HDFS1 for batch data processing. TES, provides pre-warmed containers and low latency dispatch, avoid the disk writes and fasten the query execution. 
target is 100 times faster performance, and this will be used by Hive and Pig. Base, column oriented data store, goal is to have Tiangla table having large table with billions of rows and millions of records. For streaming we have Storm, originated from Twitter, large scale live event processing implementation. For graph processing we have Apache Jirov, which is an iterative graph processing system. In memory computing we have Spark. Search Weave, makes easier to use Yarn, provides simplified API for specifying, running, and managing applications. Little more on Weave in a moment. With any new offerings takes time to mature and meet the market expectation, same is the case with Yarn, there are few limitations of it, and as product get mature there would be ecosystem coming with workaround and new set of tools. The first complaint of Yarn is it's complex, where programmer needs to deal with very low level task, and level of abstraction is low. Few examples around it. Protocol are at very low level and very verbose, single hello world can be 1500 line of code. Client must prepare all dependent jars on HDFS. Client must set up environment, class path. Logs are only collected after job is completed. For now it's not helpful in long running jobs, we do not know the status till job finishes. Application does not survive the master crash, proving to be a single point of failure. No built-in communication between container and master. And lastly hard to debug, Weave is coming up to help in Yarn implementation. It's an open source Apache project. Having generic app master, provides services like discovering, logging, metrics, monitoring etc. Thank you very much for watching the video from Big D Soul. We are a small group of working professionals trying to make impact in big data landscape. Out of our hectic office hours, we devote weekend time in developing products and providing trainings. Hope you have enjoyed it. You may contact us on the below given email.